Where are the herring? Next! Cape Cast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for April 15th, Tax Day. We fish around for herring in the second half of the show, but first let's take a look at news. In the Thar They Blow department, an unprecedented number of right whales in our neighborhood, between 50 and 100 of the beasties, has led the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries to expand its high-risk area to include all of Cape Cod Bay. Mariners in the bay are prohibited from approaching within 500 yards of a right whale. In the We Need Workers department, Cape Cass stopped off at the Career Opportunities Job Fair in Hyannis yesterday and talked to one of many local business owners who are finding themselves between a rock and a hard place. Seems like it's a little tougher this year. Why is that? What's going on? Well, as many people know, the lack of Congress to pass the H-2B visa extension has put us in a little bit of a bind. Um, our business in particular is short about 35 workers. What are you going to do? Well, I'm attending job fairs, trying to um, put the word out there on Craigslist and the internet and anywhere else. Um, I think what I'm going to resort to is going through a recruiting firm who lines us up with H2B workers who are currently in the country and we simply file an extension for them. Is that going to cost you extra money? Oh yeah. Hey folks, Cape Cast is crazy about the herring run and when we saw a few fish at Stony Brook and Brewster, we figured the rush was on. Turns out we were slightly jumping the gun in our piece, The Burning Yearning for Herring. Apparently these gulls behind me have reservations at the swanky Shea Herring Run. That's right, the herring are running in Brewster. Delicious little tidbits. All of a sudden around here, it looks like a scene out of the birds. Luckily they're going for the fish and not us. Herring, herring, don't run away. I'm back on this sunny day Saw you this morning when the gulls were flying They want to eat you but you gotta keep trying, oh yeah Well Frank, you're known as one of the sages of the run here in Brewster A lot of Cape Codders uh, want to get out here and see these things as soon as they can There's families out here today What should we all do? How long do we have to wait before the big show? As soon as it warms up Well what exactly are these herring up to going against these gulls and, and trying to get upstream. It seems like a lot of work. Yeah, it is. But they make it. We have seven ponds that they breed in up there. They spawn. And uh, they make it. Herring, herring, life can be crummy. You can end up in a seagull's tummy. But if you don't take that chance, you'll never have a herring romance. No, no. disappointed you know I wanted to take my son to see the fish and you know hopefully we'll come back and we'll get to see some another time but the last time I came it was really exciting and I you know just thought I could share it with him and we'll try to come back in a few days and see what happens well the herring run didn't work out all that well and I have a burning yearning for herring there's only one place to go on the Cape that's the cheese corner in Delhi right here in Orleans you seem to be the only guy that pickles herring on the Cape? Right now, yes, I'm the only one. <laughs> and people come from all around to get a hold of this herring? Yes, yes. So as a nature lover, a lover of unadorned fish, I could have a piece of that right now and I would know what a herring tasted like. Yeah, definitely, right now. Right, here you Mr. are. Michael, uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> we couldn't get herring at the herring run, but here at the cheese corner in Orleans, there's plenty of it. And here we go. Salty. But nice, nice and fishy. You can see where the spices would begin to add to that bouquet. That's right. But that's surprisingly delicious right there. That's right. <laughs> mm. You know, yeah. I came in here thinking this could be a horrible experiment, but I'm now thinking this could be good stuff. Yep, very good stuff. It's, it's delicious. It's really delicious. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by ferry-based video of Vineyard Haven. For tonight, clear with a low around 30, maybe enough to nip tender seedlings for Wednesday, sunny with a high near 56. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for April 15th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast! 
I am the water god. You will see no erring today.